What's up, my Taurus? You're in the building. As always, it's your divine moon goddess coming at you with a little bit of tarot. And um, in the description box, you will find my Cash App and PayPal information if you would like to donate to the channel, as well as my email address if you would like a reading. Um, I do have a link in the description box to my book called Blood of Silas the Prophecy. It's a vampire drama, so go check it out. It is under the pen name of A.G. Milestones. Um, other than that, we're getting into it. We are talking about this is uh the, this is my ex spread. I I'm actually still thinking of the title, but it, it it's what your ex is up to. We trying to see what your ex is up to, who you're thinking about for this reading, what they're doing, um if they still want to come back, if they're still holding the torch for you. Um, that's what we're trying to see, Taurus. We're trying to see what's up with your ex. Okay, so let's get into it. Let um. Let's find out what's up with Taurus's ex. What's up with Taurus's ex? Right? Mm. All right. All right, Taurus. Mm, got some conflict. Okay. Well, Taurus, your person is in their head right now. They are in head, their head thinking of you right now. Their energy is like they can't stop thinking of you. They, they just, you are on their mind heavily, okay? All right, Taurus, past history is the hangman in reverse. Hmm, so what happened with you guys, Taurus? What happened with you and your person? Um, I can't remember the sign with Hangman. I always forget. I'm going to look it up real quick because I always forget the freaking signs. And I know you guys like the signs. Um, do, 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 do. Or maybe it doesn't have a sign. Nope, doesn't have a sign. Um, but anyway, the Hangman in reverse talks about, um, basically martyrdom it's enforced sacrifice it, it it was sacrificing like your person was like sacrificing their self for the connection they felt like they were sacrificing a lot of themselves for the connection or you could have felt like you were sacrificing yourself for the connection um, or some you know you could have sacrificed something for the connection so it definitely was um, self-sacrifice like you didn't have to self-sacrifice but somebody was definitely self-sacrificing okay and that speaks a lot to the past connection because that's very burdensome and it's very um, painful when the connection is like that okay now as far as presently um, right now um, your person has judgment in reverse so this definitely speaks to karma i feel like your ex has some karmic ties that they're they're going through karmic cycles that they're completing um i feel like this is when like the divine steps in and it doesn't matter what you believe in divine um god allah buddha whatever it is it does it's all the same but this is divine stepping in in their your person has to complete whatever karmic cycles they have going on right now. And they're just not there yet. So whatever maybe you two um, had going on that prob probably was part of the karmic issues. And those issues need to be finalized. You know, there's lessons to be learned to be able to move on. Now, right now, your ex's current situation is they're not feeling like they're they're um, abundant right now. They don't have their Ten of Cups anymore. And it's probably because they're not with you, Taurus. Um, they feel quite the opposite. They're at a loss right now. They could be having some financial issues, especially if you guys split your different ways and they had to go move out. You know, maybe you guys live together and they had to move out. So they're definitely um, feeling the financial strain um of not not being together or maybe they've had some current money issues that they're going through that you don't know about okay now how your ex feels about you they are very conflicted 
very, very, very conflicted about you. They don't know if they want to try to be with you or not. They don't know if they want to try to work on things with you. They don't even know right now if they want to pursue you in any way. They're very, very conflicted, but that speaks a lot with this with this overall energy of the Nine of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, that Swords energy. Which talks about they feel like they lost. You know, they have, they feel defeated when it comes to you. They feel, um, yeah, they feel like they lost. They're, and they're very conflicted. Um, So the next one is how does your ex feel about reconciling? Now this I like to see because this I feel like this um this connection is not all bad when I see this. Like this person has deep emotions. And when you see the King of Cups, King of Cups is someone, it could be male or female, it doesn't have to be a particular, this doesn't have to be a male, this can represent a female as well. It just means that this person was very good at hiding their emotions. Like they really had deep emotions for you, but they they know how to hide it. So you would have never known that they truly cared about you because they did not show it. They did not show that they they truly loved you deeply, like, but they still they still want this connection. This is someone who is very loving, very caring. Um, they see, they look at you as their king of cups. You are their person, um, so they're still looking at it like they want to reconcile. Now far as what you can do if for reconcile i don't feel like a lot of you want to reconcile at this time with the knight of swords in reverse um but i also feel like um a lot of you are in your head about it too you're thinking 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 and you're not making no moves like you're doing a lot of thinking just like them you're thinking about this connection like overly thinking about the connection as well um, I think some of you are feeling like maybe they were deceitful towards you. You know, maybe you're just kind of waiting for information, like maybe you're seeking information, but I feel like you're not doing anything <clears throat> as far as trying to reconnect with this person at this moment. I think you're in your head. And I really think, Taurus, that you need to speak your truth if reconciling is something that you want to do. But I feel like right now, Taurus, you're in your head about it and you're not doing anything. You might be seeking information on them to see what's up with them, like maybe you're on their social media. Um, but I feel like, and I feel like them too, they could be on your social media also with the Five of Swords um, checking up on you. Um, but I, th I think you both are probably doing a little bit of stalking <laughs> with each other. Now, will you guys reconcile? And this is a good sign. This is the Page of Cups. I believe that one of you are you're going to reach out. I believe you're going to reach out. And this is the start of an offer. This is the start of of that romance to say here, you know what? I really do care about you. I really do have feelings about you. Let's let's go at it again. And being that you guys got the judgment card in reverse or the judgment card period coming out tells me that there is a potential for a second chance. Now, of course, you do have water signs on the board. You have air and you have earth signs. This could be predominant in their chart as well. It doesn't have to be. But again, this complete, this total energy, Taurus, of your partner is someone who's feeling at a loss. They're suffering right now without you. They're definitely suffering the loss of you. And they're definitely questioning the choices that they played, the part that they played in the relationship, okay? So this is a peek in a, a look at your ex to see what they're doing, what they got going on, and if they do want to reconcile. Um, but it really is favorable for you, Taurus, that you guys will reconcile and try it again, okay? This person has a lot of love for you. 
um, you, you, you made an impact on this person, okay? So until next time, as always, sending my light, my love, my love, and my light. Bye.